On the heels of major scandals from the IRS to the NSA, President Obama's approval rating has plummeted in the last month. A new CNN ORC poll shows the rating dropped from 53% to 45% in a matter of weeks, the president's lowest approval rating since 2011. But that's not all that CNN's data finds. Key numbers are down across the board. The number of Americans who think he is honest has dropped nine points over the past month to 49%. 53% say he cannot manage the government effectively. 52% say the president is a strong and decisive leader, down six points from last month. Although the poll doesn't address why approval numbers have suddenly dropped, the most obvious explanation would be the string of controversy surrounding the administration in recent weeks. That includes the U.S. response to 2012's terrorist attack in Benghazi, targeting of Tea Party groups by the Internal Revenue Service, and most recently, secret citizen surveillance conducted by the National Security Agency. The president's second term woes have gotten so bad, the Atlantic described them as scandal mania. Overall, the president's approval rating slid around 8%, but the drop is even more severe among young voters, known for leaning heavily toward Obama. Approval among voters under 30 dropped by a whopping 17% just in the last month. And the Wall Street Journal adds the approval rating among independents has fallen from 47% to 37% since May. It's safe to say the president has an image problem brewing. Around half of young Americans polled now believe him to be dishonest and untrustworthy. A writer for the New York Times says Republican inflation of some minor scandals is partially responsible, but the president himself is also to blame. Mr. Obama can pass some of that blame onto the Republicans who have been hammering him on every subject they can find. The IRS scandal, Benghazi, health care reform, and the list goes on. But the poll suggests that maybe his public statements and overall demeanor are hurting him more. Although the president's approval numbers have fallen, the commander-in-chief still fares much better than Congress. According to a recent Gallup poll, the House and Senate have an approval rating hovering around 10%. For Newsy, I'm Christian Bryant.